It was mentioned that year 10s, you guys might get some face-to-face -face time with your teachers before the end of the school year, but we do not know much more details apart from that. It's probably not going to be back to normal lessons. It's probably going to be something like a, maybe a chat with your form teacher that might be in person, that might not be in person. Not all schools are opening, some are, um, some are opening fully, some are opening for mornings. It is pretty stressful at the moment um, and things are changing so quickly that by the time this video comes out it might have all stopped and gone back to normal. Mm, yeah, I don't quite believe that, but things are changing so quickly at the moment that we don't really know. Um, just to let you know that after this, I'm gonna go and record another video because the whole concept of the autumn exam series that was promised to the year 11s and the year 13s has um, been called in to question and uh, we are not 100% sure what is happening with that at the moment, so I think, um, you know, that really, really brings home the message that, yeah, year 10, year 11, these are important years and studying the whole way through is going to be an important thing. But I do understand that studying from home is very, very difficult for you. So at some point during next week when I find a spare half an hour to make the video, I'm going to do how to study maths from home. Um, just basically taking you guys through how to do it by yourself with resources that are available. It is hard to do it by yourself when there's no one telling you what to do or how to do it or checking that you are doing it. I am lucky in that my son who is in year one should hopefully be going back to school after um, half term on June the 1st so from then onwards you can expect to see a kind of like a spike in uh content coming out from me because I would actually get some time during the week to actually do some work as opposed to um just getting it done on Saturday mornings Saturday mornings and hopefully I should get this video out today fingers crossed um which always feels a bit rushed and I feel a bit stressed and pressured because I'm normally much more organized than this but when my son goes back to school I should actually be able to start working again and the things that I'll be working on is editing all the GCSE history videos um, so one module already done uh, which is Germany uh, then Elizabeth in England and then we're moving on to lots and lots more humanities content coming out uh, GCSE maths all the videos are done, I just need to edit them. GCC Further Maths, all the videos are done, I just need to edit them. GCC Science, all the videos are in progress, I just need to finish doing a few things. The main thing I'm spending my time on is developing the new website, which is so close to being ready. Um, if you've signed up to my old website, brilliant, thank you. You'll be grandfathered into the new website, so don't worry about that. Um, it is going to be a complete online course for GCC Science, GCC Maths, Further Maths, Citizenship, History. Um, it's basically taken me a year of working to get this done, ready, and it is very, very close to being ready. Um, if you want to be one of the first people to find out when it finally is ready and get kind of like a launch 50% off code, or whatever it's gonna be, then join the mailing list down below and you'll be one of the first people to get um, access to it because access is gonna be on a yearly basis. So if you sign up kind of like end of June, mid June, then it will take you a whole way through to year 11. So you can use it for year 10, end of year 10 and year 11, which will be pretty cool. So this is just, this is kind of the main point of this is Lots and lots of stuff is coming soon. Um, I wish I could help you more at the moment, but I'm slowly going crazy and I'm trying to teach my son and work at the same time. Um, yes, yeah, slowly going crazy here. Um, it is really important that you guys do not slowly go crazy as well. I know finding the motivation to study can be really tricky. Um, I don't know, schools, um, are expecting a lot of you and that maybe you don't have the, the capabilities or the facilities to actually do lots of, as much as the school is expecting of you. So I think the best thing you can do is just 
be honest with the school and say, you know, don't try and give them rubbish excuses because once you've been teaching for a while, you know all the excuses under the sun. But if you're honest with them and say, look, I've got three younger siblings, my mum's working nights, I need to... I need to look after them during the day so that she can get some sleep and I'm doing the cooking and I'm doing the cleaning. Your teacher's going to be very, very sympathetic to this because they are nice human beings. So just be honest with your teachers if you are struggling. Um, be honest with people at home if you are struggling as well and they will, I'm sure, do their very, very best to help you to maybe change things around and um, see what they can do. Um, if you have taken on responsibilities that you are finding a bit much and there is maybe another responsibility that you wouldn't find as um, taxing. So for example you are now in charge of doing the washing up and actually you really hate doing the washing up but you wouldn't mind cooking dinner instead. Then you know make that suggestion to the person at home. They might listen to you, they might not listen to you. Um, but being honest, having an open dialogue and uh, making suge helpful suggestions is... I think always going to be appreciated. Um, so I have lots and lots of stuff coming for you all very, very soon. Um, you may also be interested to know that all of the A-level videos um, for maths will be done shortly as well. So just for future reference. Ouch. Ouch. Mm, a beauty cream.